Hi, I'm Charlie. And I'm Liz. And we are the Adventure Closet. And today, it's fishing with Liz in <laughs> Vietnam. With a pole I've never used before. So this should be interesting. Hopefully I do it right. Yeah. If not, give me some pointers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we are at, I'm gonna butcher the name as usual with Vietnamese, I'm sorry. Hoa Nam Cat, so Nam Cat Lake. What? Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> I will put it right there. <laughs> and uh, you saw us uh, drive up here in a previous video. It is just a beautiful lake, and there's already people down here fishing. So hopefully we can get some pointers from people that are fishing as well. But now we got to find a place to fish. So come along with us. We're walking around the lake. We parked over there where these people are, right over there. See Liz's parka hanging on the front of the bike. Um, one of our options is to come down these steps here, but uh, we're adventurous, so we're gonna we're gonna try and find a, another place. Good lord, this is a beautiful lake. I'm gonna see how to pronounce the name through Google and and check it out. Check out this butterfly. I hope it doesn't fly away. There's a couple of rafts down here that people fish off of. Wish we could get on one of those. But I'll find a way down. So this is how Google says to pronounce this lake. Ho Nam Kat. 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 Which means Nam Kat Lake. Ho is lake. Ho, ho Nam Kat. Okay. All right. Gosh. Uh, so good. It doesn't look like we can walk much further around, does it? Looks like this kind of dead end. Yeah, it kind of goes down to these rafts. Does it look too? Yeah, it is pretty wet today. Just rained and everything was pretty slick. So I guess you could try your luck at those steps, maybe. And yeah, there's a bee where the butterfly is. Alright, so this is my fishing kit, all purchased here in Vietnam, except for the nail clippers. Um, now, we just went and picked up some lures. I had purchased some and I think they fell out of my bag somewhere because I can't find them. But I've got some bait hooks and uh, some bait. and. These are barbless hooks, so I'm going to switch out the hook on my reel for that because we're just catching and releasing. So I want to be nice to the fishies. Um, here's my pole. And when I purchased my pole, it came with this little uh, hand reel. It's so tiny. Um, and it has a hook and a Looks weight. Like a weight. Mm. So, yeah, I have no idea how to use this pole. It's a hand fishing pole. So it's not a Tenkara. Because um, we asked. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's Japanese. I came with a float too. And the 450, I think, is how many millimeters it is uh, when it's fully extended, and it costs 290. Which is this much. Yeah, and we didn't haggle because we weren't sure what 
a reasonable price is. I mean, 290k seemed reasonable to me. Um, yeah. It might have been a little high considering um, we found poles for a little bit cheaper. But the cool part is this cork that fits at the end looks like an agate. Oh, it does. It's not, though. Yeah. And it looks like the pole is carbon fiber. Um, it extends pretty dang far. You need to grab that string. Yeah. yeah. Did you just lose it? I hope not. I really hope not. Well, whip it out like a lightsaber and see if you break it. Yeah. First use. All right, this is going swimmingly. Crazy. All right, here, let I me it, let me try and get it. So the reason that this has a slot in it like that is to hold that string. Uh, all right. Here. Already a beginner faux pas. Let me get it for you. Okay, I push that down. I see it there. Okay. The uh, guy with the three poles is looking over here. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like he might be a YouTuber because he's got a chest strap for his phone. So hopefully he's still here a little later and we'll ask him if he's a Vietnamese fishing YouTuber. I almost had it. if he has some pliers to grab it. Okay. We'll report to you guys soon. Well, I almost have it. You see that uh -oh. little, little notch there? Uh -huh. Try not to snip it. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, we'll get back to you. So, the back of it unscrews, and it was like the, the little part was poking out right there, so I was able to push it forward. I, and I it guess came right out. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's how you would probably repair the pole. Okay, right. so now I don't remember how to do a nail knot, and I have a feeling I need to do a nail knot on that. Well. Good thing we have service here, so we can YouTube stuff. Okay. <laughs> but this is how long her pull gets. Keeps going and going and going and going and going. Yeah, that thing's huge. Yeah. Ooh, all right. All right, let's figure out how to get it set up. After 20 minutes of fruitless searching on YouTube to try and figure out how to rig this pole up, we just couldn't do it. And we noticed another fisherman nearby. He was willing to set the whole thing up for me and he just meticulously rigged this up. It took about another 20 minutes for him to do this. 
He even came down to the waterside with us and showed us how to cast the line out and how to get the bait set up. It was truly kind and amazing of this gentleman. He just picked up a cup and filled it with water and took the bait bag that I had and he's mixing it up. The entire interaction was done without us speaking fluent Vietnamese and him speaking English. People who fish speak a common language. So this is what the bait looks like kneaded up. And he's got some soaking here in the water. It doesn't smell like it's, you can see it's just a powder. It doesn't smell as like bad as I thought it would be. I thought it would be like a super fishy, like gross smell, but it actually has kind of like a, a cinnamon smell, um, which is interesting. Actually, and like a cheesy cinnamon smell. So that makes me wonder if it's like meant for like carp and bass or carp and catfish. Um, but I don't know. But they do have carp and catfish out here, so that's very possible. I really, if I had this to do over with, I would have brought my own gear. I really wish that I had the lures I'm familiar with and um, my spinning rod, uh, just so that I can have a comfort level with fishing here so I can actually catch some things. But I am, on the other hand, glad that I'm forced to learn something new. Um, I've never done this sort of fishing and it's really something you could do primitively like with a stick and some line. So, um, you know, survival stuff if you're into that. Um, that's a good method to, to learn. Still can't get over how long this pole is. This is like equivalent to like a surf fishing pole even bigger <laughs> so this is this is pretty awesome I hope I catch something you guys want to watch the bobber for me for a bit fish just rose about 15 feet out from my, where my bait is. I'm hoping, I, I'm hoping it's the same fish that I saw way out on the corner a little bit ago and it's just kind of slowly working its way towards the scent. So I'm going to hold out on this spot and uh, see if it pays off. So far no nibbles or anything yet. This is the, uh, the temple up here at the top of the very steep stairs. And when I say very steep, I mean <laughs> very steep stairs. Liz is down there fishing at the bottom of the not so steep stairs but unfortunately the uh, temple itself is locked um, and there's no lights inside but it looks like your standard temple uh, it was built in 2018 20 yeah 2018 started construction in 2017 took almost a year to build 
Uh, at least that's what I'm getting from that sign right there. <laughs> um, yeah, beautiful little place up here. So peaceful here. can hear the occasional rumble of a motorbike but other than that it's just the water falling down the side of the dam and uh, yeah so our friend over there I'm not sure if Liz explained this our friend over here helped us uh, set up Liz's fishing pole. And I noticed he had a, a chest mount for his phone on. And uh, it turns out he's a TikToker. And uh, he has 78,000 followers on TikTok. That's, that's a pretty good sized TikTok. Dang, look at this gray hair. No more grays? I'm young again. Um, but it was very nice of him to help us out and uh, show us how to set that pole up and get Liz fishing. Charlie climbed the pyramid. <laughs> Is it cool up there? Yeah, that looks pretty steep. Be careful. Gosh, it's beautiful here. I don't know if we could pick a better place to go fishing. I mean, I'm sure we could. But this is like right outside of Bakan, the town we've been staying in for like a week now. And, uh, yeah. There's boats going across every once in a while. There's a couple people down here getting ready to head out on their little bamboo raft which bamboo rafts seem to be pretty awesome around here um, lots of people use them I mean when we pulled up there was a couple guys on bamboo rafts over that way over that way that uh, had uh, they're just sitting there tied up and they're just fishing off of them I don't know if you've ever seen a Vietnamese motor before, but it's basically just like a lawnmower engine with a very long pole at the end. I mean, honestly, that's pretty ingenious. A bamboo raft with just a motor attached. It's got to be one of the cheapest boats you can make. You just go out and cut down some big old bamboo and um, slap a motor on that sucker. You're good to go. Man, I really wish I had a boat. people made their boat. <laughs> Maybe I just need to be more resourceful. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I gotta get back down to Liz and see if she's catching any fish. Just, well, so you tip the rod forward first, and then let go and raise the rod. That makes sense? So 
So raise the rod as you're letting go. Perfect. Yeah, a little finesse. <laughs> sensitive plants. See how they fold up when you touch them? I don't know what that pokey thing is, but I probably don't want to touch it. <laughs> So this is a hand fishing pole. Um, there's, as you can see, there's no reel to it. Um, you, it has a line at the end, and that guy has set up a complex little system at the end. I'll show it to you in more detail before we go, but. Um, you can only go out as far as the end of your pole and as much as your line will swing. But my line was equivalent to the length of this pole, which I don't know. 450 how... centimeters or millimeters. 450 millimeters? Might be centimeters. Um, that looks more like a centimeter type thing than a millimeter type thing because that's pretty yeah. long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but that looks like almost a meter at least or more. Oh, definitely more than a meter. Yeah. Probably like three meters. So it's got a number 450 on it. I don't know how long exactly it is. Yeah, I might be able to look it up and figure it out. Yeah. But um, it's pretty long. So. Yeah, we're probably about at least 10 feet. Uh, well, maybe eight feet where our feet are. 10 feet where Liz's hand is. Um, from the surface of the water and she's still able to cast down there. Yeah, but it's a disadvantage because if I had a spinning rod, I could just like... Wing it. Yeet it out there. Yeet! <laughs> and, uh, you know, get out <laughs> to deeper water and, you know, I'd probably have a couple lures so I'd have some variety on things I could attract fish with. I just have this weird bait that I don't know what I'm attracting. I think it's for carp or catfish. I don't know how to fish for carp, but I do know how to cat, fish for catfish. And with catfish, I would be also including a worm with that bait, and I would be letting it sink to the bottom of the lake. So I don't think that how this pole with that bait is effective for catfish. So then there's the hope that there's carp in here and I don't know how to fish for carp, so... Um, and the carp we've seen are pretty huge, right? That the fish yeah. markets? Yeah, there's some giant carp, so they might not be hanging out in these shallows, but I think carp will do that, so I don't know. Yeah. Um, if anybody has any insight on fishing for carp, I would gladly eat that up in the comments because... Uh, I would I would like to catch a carp here in Vietnam. That would be fun. Yeah. We are actually contemplating uh, running for lunch and getting going to get Liz a spinning rod and reel so that she can have a little more fun while fishing. Because this, you're just kind of throwing it out and sitting here. As with a spinning rod and reel, you can actively fish. Although our friend over there has three spinning rods and he's just letting them sit. But we have not seen a single person pull up a fish. It's true. I mean, we got two guys fishing over there. We got a couple guys fishing there, more fishing around the corner. And our friend here with the three rods 
Uh, and none of them I've seen pull up a fish. But, you know, comparison is a thief of joy. They just might not be having good luck today, and the good luck might be on my side today. So, maybe the fish just want me fishing with the right gear. Yeah. Okay, here's the setup. You got a hook with a little bit of bait on it. From there, he actually had these little green stopper things that he went and got. We had this weight, but he added more weight to it with, um, with a little just strip of lead. And then from there... From there you got our bobber, which is just this little bobber attached to a string, and he added more, two more of these to hold the bobber in place. And these kind of slip, um, so you can adjust the height of the bobber. This I think was the original bobber stopper, which didn't work. He just, just left it yeah, on Yeah, it's just a plastic tube he left on there. And then at the end of the pole, there's this string that he just put a, uh, he put a knot in and then uh, a little slip knot around the edge of it so that we can actually take it off when we put this thing away. And that's the setup. I'm gonna try and slide this down so I can put it away. Um, that was really cool of that guy. Yeah. Um, he is actually a TikToker. I mentioned that. Oh, okay. So, I can't wait to go check out his channel, and I can't wait to do some fishing with some... Real fishing gear? Oh! Some familiar fishing <laughs> gear. Yeah. I'm just not as skilled as uh, some of the people here. Well, you're just not skilled with that. Yeah. My go. All right, well, that was fun. It was fun. <laughs> I mean, even though we didn't catch anything. Yeah, I got to try something new. And yeah. it's it's good to try things new and get outside of your comfort zone. So, you know, I challenge you guys to do that. Get out there, try something different, see how it goes. And try not to get frustrated if it's difficult or goes wrong. Because I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated, but um, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Fishing is supposed to be fun. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, maybe I'll get another pole and try this again. If not, we'll find something else to do. So, stay tuned for the next one. And, uh, have a good one until then. Bye, man. Bye, man.